industrial process how to prepare the step by step part 5 die weaving now that i've collected my raw material and learned how to spin it into thread the next step is to turn these threads into an actual textile the first method i'll be using is weaving weaving is a method of interlocking vertical and horizontal threads called the warp and the weft turning a one-dimensional piece of thread into a two-dimensional piece of cloth Weaving began as early as 7000 BC and became widespread around 1400 BC. Weaving was originally the man's job, while women traditionally did the spinning. However, after the Industrial Revolution, the job was primarily performed by women. So I met with Judy, an expert weaver. Weaving is, is fun and I enjoy it, but weaving takes more concentration, particularly if you're doing any kind of a pattern. First, we set up the warp the vertical strands of the weave. Okay, this is what's called a direct warp. What we will do is we will take the yarn, you're going to put the hook through the slot, grab the fiber, and walk it back through the next slot. This part ended up being really time consuming. You realize this is only half the process. Half of the weaving process or no, half? half of the warping process. Once they were laid out, we wrapped them up in the loom. Okay, now that's done. Your next step is to tie on. What you're going to do is you're going to start in this on the edge over here and you're going to cut some threads so that you have enough left to tie onto this rod and you're going to work from the center out so that you keep an even tension mm -hmm. on all sides as you work. Okay. Happy time. <laughs> the next step was the actual weaving. <laughs> the whole weaving part. <laughs> the simple loom I was using allows a quick switch for the up and down positions, creating a simple weave pattern. So, this beats down. And it goes back up into the up position. I spent many hours over the next week finishing the weave. Once I got past the warping stage, I found that I actually enjoyed weaving. Once I mastered weaving my hemp on the simple loom, Judy moved me on to the more complex floor loom to weave my cotton. Step on three, three and four. And that's what gives you your pattern. I used a four-step tool pattern, which required me to step on four different paddles in a row to create a pattern compared to the simple up-and-down pattern I originally used on the hem. Yet again, setting up the warp was really difficult, but once set, I could weave really quickly and had it done in a mere 12 hours. With my weave complete, the last step was to cut the finished textile from the loom. Knitting is another method of turning thread into fabric. Instead of a large loom, Knitting is done with a pair of needles by looping and knotting the thread onto itself. In fact, the word knitting is derived from the word knot. While requiring simpler equipment than weaving, knitting isn't believed to have been invented until the 11th century. To learn how, I found a local knitting group to teach me how to knit. Doing this right? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> There's some sort of trying. There's a rhyme that was supposed to teach children. Yeah. Roundabout back? Through the door, roundabout back. Something, something, something about a rabbit or a fox. <laughs> and off jumps Jack. <laughs> it's in through the front door, around the back, out through the window, and off jumps Jack. <laughs> we were close. <laughs> Where did the foxes and rabbits come <laughs> So, casting on is how you begin your knitting projects. And then knitting is what you're doing now, which creates the nice stretchy stitches that make the body of the project. Mm -hmm. And then when you're all done, and that's as big as you want it to be, you will bind off, which is uh, making sort of knots along the top and kind of finishing it so it won't unravel. Okay. Well, looks like I knit enough to make a little pocket square for my suit. Thanks for giving me a little crash course on learning how to knit. Got a little bit of work to do to get this vest together, but thanks for letting me join your knitting group. Just 
Keep practicing. So, finally on the sewing stage now. This entire process has been a lot more challenging than I could ever have expected, but how much more could there be? Like, subscribe, and share this video. Thank you.